Welcome to this Fair of Grace. I am Pastor Shegun Obaje. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Amen. We are in for a wonderful time today. Hallelujah. Today we're considering the fact that it matters who you are listening to. Who are you listening to? Who is feeding you with the information? Who is talking into your life? Who is speaking into your life? It is important who you listen to. Praise God. You know, in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 11, you know, and Adam said to God, when God called him, he said, Adam, where art thou? He said, I'm naked. I'm afraid. When I heard your voice, because I'm naked, he was afraid. And he was naked. He saw his nakedness because he had disobeyed God. And then God said something very remarkable, and that's what I want to point your attention to today. He said, who told thee that thou was naked? Now, God never told him that he was naked, but somebody did. The devil did. How? He brought the consciousness of nakedness to Adam. How? By causing him or pushing him to disobey God. See, who told you that you are naked? Now, who told you that you are good for nothing? Who told you that you cannot make it? Who told you that life holds a very terrible future for you? Who told you that you cannot reach your goal in life? Who told you that you're not beautiful? Sometimes you look in the mirror and say, mm, I don't think I look good enough. I'm not sure any man will be interested in me. <laughs> who told you? Who told you that? Now, you see, who told you what you believe matters? Why? Because that will be the force that will control your life. See, listen to God. God is authority enough to control your life. Is authority enough to influence you positively. He is influence enough to make your life better. Listen to him. Who told you? Someone says, my parents said so. My teachers said so. When I was in secondary school, they told me that um, I'm, I'm dull. I'm dull-hearted, dull-headed. I can't amount to much in life. I should go and learn one, you know, craft or trait and maybe i can make something good out of my life who told you that they didn't create you all right they don't hold the right to tell you your destiny god designed your destiny and he holds the exclusive right to tell you what it is your destiny is a good one who told you that you are not able to do what god has said you can do i remember when I was coming to the ministry. I had received the call of God. There was a man, a pastor who looked at me and said, you're too quiet to be a pastor. You can never succeed as a pastor. That was what he told me. And I smiled. I didn't react in any way. I just smiled. I left the place. I knew what God had told me. I refused to believe him. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Praise God. See, listen, beloved. God is your sufficiency. God is your light. God is your salvation. What he says about you is the only truth about you. Refuse to believe a lie from the pit of hell. So listen, beloved, it matters who you are listening to. Now start disconnecting yourself from wrong sources of information contrary to your true identity and destiny in Christ. Disconnect yourself from them because, you know, the principle of influence is contact. If you maintain contact with the wrong people telling you the wrong things and saying the wrong things into your life, they will influence you wrongly. But if you maintain contact with the people who are telling you the right things and speaking the word of God into your spirit, you will have or come under the right influence. Praise God. I believe you've been blessed today. Amen. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.